Hi there and welcome to my channel. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have seen that I recently had a huge haul of Born Pretty stamping plates arrive. Well, there was about 20 in that pile. So I've been working my way through them and what I've done is I've put them into smaller videos. And in this video, I'm going to be swatching and reviewing four small round stamping plates. And they are BP140, BP142, BP146 and BP148 and for all my swatches I've used my usual mix of stamping polishes along with my XL Fabinel stamper. I've unfortunately not made any manis for these plates because I had such a huge haul. Before I get started don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help me out. I'll begin with BP140 and it's a peacock inspired plate. It sort of has a paisley feel to it. Now, from this plate, I've taken seven swatches. So this should really give a good feel of what this plate can create. It's swatched really well. I think the only trouble I had was the size of, the, of these plates, but I've always had that to be fair. I always end up in such a mess, but I can always see past that, and especially when they are beautiful plates like this one. On to BP142, and it's this insect inspired plate. Now, for me, this is a strange plate for me to own, but I thought that it was so pretty that I wanted to see what I could create. This plate is adorable though, with all these little insects on there. And again, I've just taken seven swatches, which have all come out really well. If you like bugs, you'll really like this plate. All of these little insects would look great with some color, so I'm definitely thinking decals with this plate. BP146 is this skull inspired plate. Now, for this, I've used my clear stamper for the little images and my XL Fabinel stamper for the rest. And there are four small images and four larger ones. It's a really interesting plate. I do love skull plates, but then when I get them and it comes to creating manis, I always get stumped at what to do. But again, it's swatched really well. Born Pretty have recently made some really interesting plates. So make sure that you're subscribed as you'll definitely want to see them. And I'll be returning to these plates at a later date to make some manis. And finally, we have BP148. And can I just say how beautiful these images are on this plate. There are eight amazing ladies' faces and two beautiful floral images. And as you can see, seven of the ladies' faces are small, with one large one in the middle. I think if I was to use the middle one, I would probably shrink it first. All of these images, apart from the large one, I used my clear stamper for, and then I used my XL Fabi Nails for the larger one, and everything swatched really well. I was expecting some of the larger spaces to have holes in, but everything is brilliant. Overall, these plates I really like. Now on screen you'll see two photos and it seems that Born Pretty have changed how they package the plates because on all of the new ones I've recently had come in, they're all like this where the plate number is on the front and then on the back is the code for the Born Pretty website. This for me gets a big thumbs up. So much easier when going through my plates and yes, I have gone through my Born Pretty plates and added little dots with the number of each of the plates and it really makes a difference. Also, if you aren't aware, Born Pretty's website has just gone through a facelift. It looks very clean and fresh now. And don't forget, they're also on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress and Wish too. So don't just stick with their website, shop around. So onto some live swatches and I'll just be taking two swatches from each plate, again using my XL Fabinel stamper and scraper and my Born Pretty black stamping polish and I'll just be placing them onto my lint roller as always. 
BP140. Now I'm still getting used to my new lamp, so my table setup is a little different, and I'm still getting used to it all, so my swatches aren't as good as they would normally be. But this is an okay swatch. And this is definitely a very detailed plate. But again, it's another okay swatch. BP 142. It's going to be really interesting on how I'm going to use this plate, but it's a good swatch. Every time I look at this plate, I always seem to see something I've not seen before. And again, it's a good swatch. BP 146. I'm going to see if I can pick two images up on one swatch for this first swatch. And well, that worked well. And these are both good swatches. And because that worked so well, I'm going to try it again for the next swatch. And again, it worked well. BP 148. These faces are just so pretty. I really do like this plate. And again, I'm going to try for two images on the first swatch. The flower, I think, would look really nice all coloured in. But they're both good swatches. Now this middle image, I would definitely shrink it because I would want all that detail on my nail. But it's a good swatch. So I hope that you've enjoyed my swatching review on these four small born pretty stamping plates. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you could. And don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time. Happy stamping. Bye.